Will here with Resurgent Arms. We've got an exciting announcement today. We are rolling out a brand new product, the first product you've seen from us in a while and unlike anything we have made before. Check it out, the Apocalypse handguards. Now we found ourselves asking if you were gonna design a set of handguards specifically for the zombie apocalypse, what would you design? Well, you'd wanna start with carbon fiber because it's simply the best widely available material for handguards. It's better than aluminum, it's lighter weight, and most importantly, it's a way better heat shield than aluminum. You could leave these outside in the sun all day and you could still pick them up with your bare hands, no problem. Since this is probably the last set of handguards you'll ever buy in your entire life, uh, assuming civilization breaks down, you're gonna to wanna to take advantage of the light weight of carbon fiber to make it extra thick. So you've got incredible strength and durability. You could be firing a lot of rounds during the zombie apocalypse. God knows what you'll run into. So you'd wanna design a mounting system that does not have any exposed clamps or exposed parts of the barrel nut. You would want the handguards to screw directly into the barrel nut so that if you choke up all the way to the receiver, there's no metal for you to burn yourself on. During the apocalypse, you might be outside a lot and you might be outside in all kinds of different weather conditions. So you'd probably want to machine some grooves into the bottom of the handguard to really give you a solid grip on that surface if you were to happen to get wet or muddy. And you'd want to go ahead and round out the whole package with some M-Lock slots. Now, not too many, but just enough and in the right spots. So you've got M-Lock slots for your, for your sling, your foregrip. You've got a lot of options to mount flashlights on either side or on the very end. You've also got your laser, as well as your backup iron sight and your uh, bipod. So we've got slots, you can run all that stuff. Because you know, in the apocalypse, your rifle's gonna have to have a lot of stuff on it. There's a lot of jobs it's gotta perform for you. And nice neat little feature, if you like aero precision, they make a, what they call their enhanced upper that actually has an integral barrel nut so that these handguards will be able to screw directly onto your arrow enhanced upper, which is gonna further reduce weight from your system and also just strengthen it up. So I've talked a lot about how thick and strong these are. Let's talk about weight. So I've got our scale right here. And that is kind of hard to see in the sun. Let's, let's see if we can do anything about it. All right, there we go. So handguards, barrel nut, and set of eight screws. So in 12 inches, that clocks in at 9.6, 9.7 ounces. So they're not the absolute lightest handguards on the market, but they are actually competitive with the other round carbon fiber handguards that everybody has heard of. Um, so same weight as the competition, but way better designed, way thicker and stronger. So speaking of our competition, the Apocalypse handguards also blows them away on design quality, as I mentioned. And since we're brand new to the market, we're also very competitive on price. These should be more competitively priced than your, your popular competition. So let's go ahead and show these on a gun. I've got basically a Palmetto AR that we went ahead and stripped the front sight post off of, just change the gas block, and we'll go ahead and get these mounted up. Now, um, these are a prototype, so the ultimate fit on the barrel nut is going to be uh, a lot tighter. These are a little little loose compared to what the eventual um, what the eventual design is going to be. Um, I'll just do a couple, just so I can kind of get a sense of, of what it looks like on the AR. Um, mounting the barrel nut, totally not a big deal. Um, we, uh, we've included a set of four shims so that you can time it correctly without having to worry about using too much or too little torque. And it is an aluminum barrel nut. So that's what it looks like on the AR. Pretty awesome, huh? So I wanna talk about, oh, one more thing. We will eventually be doing a low profile uh, rail segment that will attach on the top M-Lock and it will line up, it will line up your sight 
with the backup sight on the rear of the gun. So let's talk about, let's talk about lengths. So this is a 12 inch. The lengths that we'll have available are eight inches. Uh, we're gonna have eight inches, 10 and a half inches, 12 inches, 13 and a half, and then we're gonna have 15 and three quarters. So let's run through and explain those real quick uh, so you can make the best selection. So eight inches for an eight inch handguard, that's the shortest these get. Most people will be buying those for your pistol builds. Um, eight inches will also just cover the end of a carbine length gas system. So if you're running carbine length gas and for some reason you want extra short handguards, eight inches will take care of you. Now, 10 and a half inches is gonna be the shortest length that most folks will realistically consider because it's going to just cover your mid-length gas block. So most carbine builds, most mid-length builds, that's gonna, that's gonna kick butt for you. Uh, 12 inches, which is what these are, and that's a 16 inch barrel. Um, 12 inches uh, compared to the 10 and a half, that's gonna allow you to mount your accessories out a little bit further. Um, additionally, if you're, if you're a tall person like me and you like to shoot with your, with your support arm fully extended, um, I'm six foot tall, I have long limbs. If I fully extend my arm, lock out my elbow, I'm still a little bit shy of the end of this. So if that's a consideration for you. Um, now, 13 and a half inches, again, that's just gonna bring your accessories even further out. And then there will also be a 15.75. That's gonna come up right to the end of your 16 inch barrel. Um, and it's also going to cover your rifle length gas system. So if you're doing like a you know, 18 inch or longer barrel, uh, kind of like a DMR build, you might wanna opt for the 15.75. So there it is, introducing the Apocalypse handguards. There is literally nothing else like this on the market. So I encourage you, hop over to our website and grab yours while supplies last. As always, open to questions down in the comments. This is Will with Resurgent Arms. See you next time.